taking a quick look at this new tiny power station. This thing is super small, but it's got all the features of a larger power station. This is this is incredible. I mean, we've seen kind of these tiny micro power stations, but they're always like DC and USB only, right? Like the Jackery 100 Plus, that new Afri Nano 100, which is actually a better version of the Jackery 100 Plus, and even the EBL 150. And that thing, the, the EBL 150 is actually quite a bit larger than this new Duran power station. And that thing doesn't even have AC on it. So this thing, yeah, this new Duran has USB, 12 volt, bi-directional USB-C, by the way, too, and a pure sine wave inverter. So, yeah, you can solar, it's got a dedicated solar input as well not just USB-C. So it's got everything, and yet it's only 89 watt hours. And you might be thinking like, well, it's probably some, you know, it's probably using NMC batteries or something like that. That's why it's able to have all this stuff and be so tiny. Well, guess what? <laughs> You're wrong about that. How about LP? Yeah, 3,500 plus cycles, right? So this is the kind of the industry standard here. So super safe you know, super durable, and yet super, <laughs> super portable. I mean, if you want portability, then you're not going to really beat this thing because guess what? Two, yeah, 2.54 pounds, two and a half pounds. So yeah, in fact, this thing is almost the size of those, those previous models I mentioned, the Jackery 100 Plus and that Afri Nano 100. It's like a little bit larger, right? It's a little bit larger. I put all the dimensions and specs on the screen here. But yeah, as I mentioned, those can't do half the stuff this thing can do. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking. Like, this sounds too good to be true. You know, how could it be the same size as those other models and yet be able to do so much more? Well, you know, this is a pro and con situation here. So again, we'll put like a chart up on the screen. But yeah, it doesn't have quite the power that those other models have. There's no like high power USB-C. So in fact, on this graphic here, they show that both the USB-Cs are only 15 watts. But in the description, they do mention 45 watts for the USB-C that's not bi-directional. So that'd be interesting to see is that which, one, which one's right here. You know, and another thing to note is, yeah, you know, the DC output, there is one, but there's no spec on is it regulated? All it says is 60 watts. So yeah, and, you know, this USB-C that's bi-directional, 15 watts, that's all you can do. 15 watts, it's not, it's, not, it's not a whole lot, is it? So now there is a proper barrel input, 5521, and they say here 40 watts max, but actually in the listing, you know, they give the specs there up to 30 volts, and they say four amps. And then 90 watts max. So that's interesting. Yeah, that, this would be incredible if you could put like 90 watts into this thing, you know, from solar. That would be awesome. So, but yeah, it's kind of a question mark, isn't it? Because they only say 40 on this graphic. And guess what? Yes, it does have that pure sine wave AC inverter. They say 100 watts continuous 200 watt surge. And there's even two outlets on there. There's some other, they managed to put two of them on there. I thought this thing would only have one. But, you, you know, typically you don't, you kind of want to avoid using AC power, right? With really any power station, but especially with one with such a tiny battery. But the thing is, it says, you know, sometimes you don't have the proper DC cable, right? To charge, if you're trying to charge up something like, I don't know, digital camera, you know, a, a drone or something you know, you have the, the AC charger block, right, that came with that thing. So it's always nice to be able to have this as an option. And since it's only 100 watts, it's really not going to use that much power, right? I mean, AC inverters, the, you know, the more powerful they are, the more power they will consume on their own, right? That's, that's kind of one of the reasons I don't really recommend a large, powerful power station. And then, you know, the thing is, you might be thinking, well, how about charging this thing from AC? How about that? Well, you can do it. You can do it without a power brick. Now, what's interesting about this is unlike 
all the new power stations, it's not a bi-directional inverter. They're using, you know, a standard wall cord, but it's a DC cord. So it's like the converter, the DC converter is actually built in to the power station. So that's, I mean, from a usability standpoint, that's perfect, right? I mean, who cares? Who cares? Maybe it's not going to be as efficient. But, yeah, all you need is this, that little tiny standard cord. Nope, no exterior power brick. So that's smart because they know people don't want to deal with those exterior bricks, right? Now, the bad news is 40 watts again, 40 watts. That's it. Yeah, so, mm, you know, it's kind of it's kind of limited. But as this graphic shows, you can kind of combine all of these, right? You can combine 40 watts plus 40 watts. And maybe this one, you know, this is the one. Is this one possible to do higher if you have a big enough solar panel? A 100-watt solar panel that's below 30 volts, you know, it would be interesting to see how much you can get out of that. But, yeah, you can combine these things, and then you can even throw in, you know, 15, hey, 15 more watts from that USB-C. And to my surprise, this thing even has an LED light on the back, right? This is the perfect design. You know, there's so many larger power stations still don't get this right. They put, like, a little spotlight on, it, on the front or something, right, that's going to blind you. No, you want it on the back so it will light up kind of the ambient area around you, but you can still see the front, right? You can still plug stuff into it without having to squint, without being blinded. And it's a, actually a large panel light as well in two brightness modes, in fact, on this thing, this little tiny power station. And, you know, one of the reasons this thing doesn't have quite the output or, or even input power of some of those other models is because yeah there's no there's no fan in this thing you know actually it's completely sealed up so they they say this is soundless technology yeah yeah you don't you don't put a fan in it right <laughs> that's how that's how you get that there's no technology involved here right and it's kind of a silly it's kind of a silly statement but yeah so just be aware you know yes it's lfp batteries and yes, it's not, you know, super powerful, but still, you know, if you were maxing out all the input, all the output ports, and you had that thing sitting out like in the sun, you know, you're going to cook this thing, right? You're going to cook it. So just be aware, you're going to have to take this thing in your own hands to try to keep it cool, you know? Now, you know, a, another downside here is we do get a nice display. Actually, at first blush, this is a great display, very large numbers. You can see where it's at. It's even got a bunch of little icons, including my favorite, you know, little solar icon there. So that's good. You know, the problem is there's no info as far, you know, as far as what's going in or out, right? I mean, if you're discharging this thing, you get this little icon here that says out. Well, okay. <laughs> hey, how much? How much out? You don't know. Who knows? Who knows? And the same thing if you're charging this thing, you're wondering, like, am I actually getting some decent power going in, into it? Well, I don't know. Well, I guess all you're going to get is that little in graphic. You, you, have, to, you have to sit there and stare at the, the display and see, you know, watch the number go up 1% one, 1 at a time, I guess. <laughs>